welcome back to my channel so this is a satsi equipment as you can see here it has the screen and it has one keyboard and it has a printer that if you receive any of the alerts or any narrow warnings it will be printed out in this printer so for sending distress message using satsi now as i told there are two types of distress message one is undesignated and another is designated so for sending undesignated distress message you can see here this red button now it is has a cover hinged cover basically so for transmitting when you don't have time you just have to lift this hinged cover and you have to press the button for at least 4 seconds so once you keep on pressing for 4 seconds till 4 seconds you will get a intermittent sound and after 4 seconds the sound will become continuous and which means that your distress alert has been transmitted so this was about sending undesignated distress message now for sending a designated distress message in navigate with the arrow key I can navigate into other options like there's options like transmit readout edit call log distress ncs les info receive mode and egc you can navigate on the option that is distress and after that you have to press enter and once you press enter you can see this page opens up now here you can navigate by using enter and distress button so that you can update the details in this now in the nature if i press enter you can see all these options available undesignated then fire explosion flooding collision grounding listing sinking disabled and adrift abandoning ship further assistance required piracy armed attack so this all options are there now it says if you want to go previous you can press f10 so i can go previous uh, i mean to say back now data source basically gps it the position which is been updated is with the help of GPS it gets automatically updated but it has an option to update manually by chance if you have a failure of GPS and if the position is not correct you can update manually also by pressing enter and then filling the details then the next is whatever the ship speed is it will everything will be updated automatically the main thing which you have to update is you have to update the nature and rest all details are automatically faded with the help of GPS equipment now if I go into data source and press enter you can see here GPS and manual option is there so if your GPS fails by any chance you can go to manual option and then you can enter all the details manually for example the time and the position also you have option to select the LES which is land earth station now after going into LES I press enter and you can see here I can select the number of the LES and you can see here there's F2 which is if I press F2 button it will show me the LES list so after pressing F2 it says reading data and you can see here this all land earth stations are there so whichever is nearby it will automatically select but if it's not selecting automatically you have the options the total seven options which you can see here the Telenor, Stratos, KDDI is which is in Japan, then Telenor, Zantic, France Telecom, NCS, etc. So I will just press F10 and go to previous. So you have option to select the LES also in this. Once you have updated this information, you can open the hinge cover and you can press the distress button for at least four seconds. And that time the message which will be transmitted will be a uh, designated distress alert so this was about sending a distress message using the SATC equipment there's something called as remote distress button so let's say if you have no time to go to the SATC equipment this is available on the bridge panel as you can see here 
now here you have in this panel this is a basically a buzzer box for sat c1 and sat c2 and here you can see the distress button that is called as a remote distress button for sat c1 and sat c2 so in this you can see here if i dim this you can see here this green light which is glowing which means that it is ready for any time when you press this red button it will be activated that is what it indicates and to press you just have to open the hinge cover and you have to press it for four seconds at least then the undesignated distress but uh, alert will be sent with the help of sat c1 or sat c2 so this is about remote distress button so if it is red in color it indicates that it is not synchronized with sat c which means that there is some problem with your equipment but if it's green it it means that it is synchronized with your sat c equipment so that was about remote distress button how to cancel the distress alert so for cancellation you have to basically notify the appropriate rescue coordination center to cancel the alert by sending a distress priority message via the same LES through which the false distress alert was sent. So here in the screen there is one edit option you have to click on that and you have to prepare the message of sending to the MRCC. So there are two options here which you can see one is edit telex file this is to prepare the text message and there is another is edit sky file which is to prepare a email message. So let's say if I go to edit telex file I can use any of them let's say if I select edit telex file then the, the screen will come where you have to type this message which includes the name of your ship call sign identity number position cancel my in mass arts distress alert of so and so date and time in UTC and you can also include the master's name so this is an example of message which you have to write and you have to save this file this telex file I mean you have to save this with a certain name after that after saving you have to go to transmit option after clicking on transmit there will be one screen will be popping out which includes telex email etc so telex is basically what we have prepared so we will click on telex after clicking on telex what will come is this screen where you can see destination code subscriber number and answer back this will be automatically selected file name you have to select you have to browse and you have to select whichever file you have made the which includes the message of cancellation land earth station will be selected automatically position you can switch on and then delivery confirmation if you want you can switch on and then character code ia5 and priority will be distress after that you have to press f1 to send the call after pressing the call your message will be gone to the mrcc so this is how you have to basically send the distress message to the mrcc